Gino and Lauren's adventures. I haven't been here for, oof, good month, maybe more. We moved house, finally. We've moved into the new build that you've been following us um, for for so long. We literally moved in three weeks ago and we were preparing to move before that and we've been desperately trying to move out of the old flat. Um, Gino decided that he didn't want to hire anyone. He wanted to do it himself. So we have been moving ourselves. Yeah, not impressed. But anyway, we're here, we've managed it, we're nearly done. We've got a few more bits to take from the old house, but we're nearly done. So, fingers crossed, everything's nearly there. I'm sitting here in my kitchen, and I wanted to basically go over the process while it's fresh in my brains, because a few of you have asked me, you know, how I'm finding Barrett's, how I found the process of um, buying a new build, and the help to buy process, and um, just this whole process in general. And I thought I'd go through it with you. So the property that we've bought is a new build property. It's a two bed flat in North London. And it was in terms of our budget and what we could afford, we knew we were gonna buy this place before we even arrived, if that makes sense. We knew that the location in London was good enough for us to go for because um, it's just a very good area for the price that we bought it kind of thing. So we knew that we were gonna buy it before we came. The reason I'm saying that is because, I've gotta be honest, our first experience with Barrett's wasn't the best. So. The sales team themselves are obviously supposed to sell you the flats. And when we arrived and we had a tour of the show flat, I, we found that the sales team that initially showed us around and this initially sold us the flat, if we hadn't done our research on the area, may actually have put us off, which is really interesting because, you know, obviously they're supposed to be selling you the flat. They weren't very in depth with the knowledge that they had. If you ask them questions, they were like, well, it hasn't been built yet. You didn't feel like you got enough kind of of what you would be receiving. And I really, really did feel like I was buying blind. So you really have to focus on the floor plan they give you and go with the promises they give you. And as far as I'm concerned, the location would have been worth it anyway. But if I was buying in a location where I just was wanted a new flat, for instance, and it wasn't about the location you were buying, I may have been put off buying here. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense because it was unnecessary stressful for us with the sales team and it was really due to the things that we bought with them we couldn't get things that we wanted like we want if we could have we would have paid for uh, wardrobes to be built into the bedrooms and stuff like that or we would have liked certain things just certain things that we know other flats have had but we weren't allowed and the process was very rushed because when we actually signed our registration form to say we wanted the property and we put down 500 pounds we were told that their deadline to buy all the materials and stuff was the, the next day. So if we wanted floorboards, if we wanted a tiled bathroom, if we wanted a shower head, if we wanted carpets, we would have had to have paid, I think it was about 5,700 pounds I paid in the end for everything, including the kitchen. And they wanted it the next day and I was like, no, I'm sorry, like I'm putting 500 pounds today. I need to go home, have a think, uh, look at my finances because this is gonna be a lot of money anyway. And in the end, I decided to go for certain things. I didn't go for the kitchen upgrade. A lot of people had a kitchen upgrade with inbuilt um, fridges, inbuilt dishwashers, um, spotlights and stuff like that. But I felt that that wasn't needed. I already was spending nearly 6,000 pounds on everything else. But we were very rushed by that and we were very hounded by the sales team once we'd put the 500 pounds down to give them the money basically because they had missed their a delivery slot that basically they would be missing if I didn't put the money down. So you felt like you were being hounded, you felt like you were being rushed. And many a time means, you know, I've turned around to each other and said, if we weren't sure, we probably would have backed out. So that's a cautionary tale. It's probably not Barrett's the company, it's probably new builds, you know? Like, maybe they have this way of doing it, I don't know. You put down the 500 pound registration fee and you pay for whatever materials you want and then it's time to contact a lawyer. Now with new builds and help to buy and these processes, you are advised, usually by the developers, to use their lawyers. But if you go on government websites on new builds, 
you will see usually at the top where it says lawyers they will say hire your own lawyers do not go through their lawyers and it's only because there have been a rare few cases where sewage works for instance could be there could be a sewage works factory that's about to be built and you wouldn't know and that's why it's so cheap you know so you've got you, this is what you pay your lawyers for basically so we decided to go with our own lawyers and my god did that sales team in Barrett's change it went from friendly to absolutely rude to the point where um gino um, made a complaint and said you know we don't like the way we're being spoken to we don't like the way we're being hounded what happened was we contacted our lawyers as soon as possible as soon as we could we contacted our lawyers and our lawyers had to do the proper checks and these checks take a good 10 days at least or two weeks to go through the processes but Barrett's wanted it done now, 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 now. You know, they wanted they wanted things done and we had to get our lawyers to contact them basically and say, they were hounding us so much that it made the whole process so stressful. And I, I do get really stressed sometimes and very anxious. And I, I had to pass it on to Gino and just say, Gino, please, can you handle this? Because I can't handle these people hounding me, like emailing me, calling me. We asked them to contact our lawyers. Please don't contact me, contact our lawyers. I can see people moving in, by the way. And that was extremely stressful. And um, to the point where my lawyer, I was, I was, you know, saying to my lawyer, hurry up. Like, well, these people are hounding me, hurry up. Please hurry up. And he, he would literally talk to me and say, Lauren, these people, they're salesmen, okay? They're very, very pushy. Don't be dragged into their scare tactics. He used to call it scare tactic. They're not gonna chuck you out of this deal. Like, don't be, don't worry. But they got me to the point where like, you know, you're so worried you're gonna lose all this money. You're so worried, like, it was horrible. And anyone who's going into this process, if you decide to use your own lawyer, which I advise you to do, you will get it and the tone will change and well that's my experience actually i can't speak for other people but my experience was that the tone changed it was really sad cut a long story short we waited and then the lo the last thing you saw was that we had a a tour a hard hat tour and that's there was like a period of like nothing we didn't really know what was going to happen we exchanged and then about when you exchange your lawyers you put the money in your lawyer's account and then two days later the lawyers will contact you and say oh you've exchanged you're now a homeowner but your home hasn't been built yet so like when you're buying a new build you don't really feel like you own a home until you're actually there when we got to the hard hat tour we realized a couple of things we realized that how quickly things are being done the main thing about new builds and help to buy is that they are on a time limit and they work as fast as they can as fast paced and if you don't keep up you'll be left behind which is why i'm doing this video because anyone who's buying a new build you need to the moment you move in be awake be woke because they're moving as fast as they can and if you don't if you don't see things things aren't going to be done and um, anyway we moved in um i wasn't sh sure about the space behind me where the fridge is i wasn't sure if that was well, that would be big enough but it was i was worried about that and it was a very rushed tour the hard hat tour but I appreciated the fact that I got to have a look around because I didn't know the layout at this point before that. I didn't know the layout of my flat. I didn't know the quality of the fittings. I didn't know what I was buying. I just kind of bought blinds, as I said. Okay, skip to two weeks ago, three weeks ago, where we got the keys and we came in. It was lovely. It's, I'm just, I mean, I can't, I can't complain. This is such a beautiful, beautiful flat. I'm just doing this video now while I'm in the moment. This flat is really, really beautiful and much bigger than I expected, actually. It's the hallway itself is really beautiful. The only thing I would say is the snags. Now, when it comes to buying a new build property, they will tell you, oh, you have 72 hours once you move into your property, once we give you the keys to provide us with any snags that may be there and uh, it'll be our responsibility to fix them when you're moving in and there's no towels there's no how are you gonna know if the hot water's working or or you know the pressure's good enough certain things you're not gonna know in 72 hours so i researched this and it's actually two years okay so that's not technically true but anyway we hired a snagging surveyor which was about 350 pounds he arrived the day after we got the keys 
And here's just an example of some of the things that ha we found that you aren't necessarily going to see if you move in. For instance, when the snagging surveyor came, he noticed that there were huge scratches on our balcony windows that you cannot see in the dark. So it was interesting to us that um, they showed us that in the dark because, yeah, in the in the daytime you can see these scratches. And now, because they've been on the list and we got it in before the 72 hours, those doors are being changed. The glass on that those doors will be changed. Another thing um, the snagging surveyor noticed was that our temperature gauges in the sitting room and in the bedrooms were the wrong way round and they could, couldn't be swapped for instance, they had to be electronically configured, which we wouldn't have noticed, you know, you would not know that unless you'd lived in your flat for a good few months and gone, babe, why is it so hot in the bedroom? And you know, you just wouldn't know. So that's something um, we clocked as well uh, through the snag spray. There were other things like there were some damp places. So these things, you're not necessarily gonna see straight away. So my advice to you, if you're buying a new build, you need to hire a snagging surveyor. A lot of people don't because it is an extra bit of money, but there are things that only a snagging surveyor can see. Uh, we wouldn't have known, tiles loose that we wouldn't have seen, the front door lock had to be changed because it was loose. Things that we didn't see, um, he saw. Uh, there was a window handle that was a bit loose. Yeah, there are things. The response, it's quite hard because obviously to own a flat in London, you both, unless you're bloody millionaires, you've got to be, you're working, you're workers. I work full time, Juno works full time. So they don't seem to be available out of working hours, which is difficult if, you, if you're if you paying for a mortgage, you know, and you've just moved into a, your first house. I'm finding it hard to get time off of work to allow these people in and I haven't had, a not, oh, somebody said they'd come basically on Saturday and repaint our walls and they didn't turn up. So yeah, that's that's something you should be aware of. I just let me go through my phone and see if I've missed anything. So buying with Barrett's the lawyers, sales team experience, we've gone through that, very pushy. The experienced team are the people who hand you the keys, so the, once you've exchanged, they're the people who um, make sure that your experience at Barrett's afterwards is happy. So there's a guy who we email here, he's the head person. I think he can tell that me and Gina were very much like on it. So in this new build flat, and I think this is very similar with a lot of new build flats, the electricity and the gas. The electricity is separate. Um, they have been working with British Gas and we think we'll just take on the same contract. There is no gas. It's actually part of the electricity bill. So um, you get charged for your hot water, which is run through the electricity bill, but the hot, wa the hot water is done through a communal kind of hot water uh, system where everybody has instant hot water. So that's really good. Another thing that I wanted to mention is the internet. Because it, and it is a new build, phone lines have not yet, even even though it's London, have not yet been um, developed in this area. So Barrett's have done, they're very clever. Barrett's and Virgin have done a deal together. And all our inputs for cables have the Virgin logo on them. And we called around all the internet suppliers and the only ones that could give us a decent bandwidth was Virgin. So we have no choice but to go with Virgin. Just to finish up, I know this has been a really long video. My overall experience with Barrett's has been so-so, you know? Um, started off quite bad, ended quite good. The flat's beautiful. This flat was a really well-built flat and that made me feel really good. Barrett's as well is known to be better than most new build suppliers. I don't want to say any names, but there. If you, you, all you have to do is type them into Google, Google, and you will see lots of kind of horror new build stories. Barrett's isn't usually lumped into that, so they are quite a safe. If you're going to buy with any new build kind of developer, Barrett's is a is a very kind of renowned English brand that has been around for a, a long, long, long time. This is just things to expect that I've gone through and I think it's probably quite normal for most people who buy new builds. We are planning to buy this house and move out by in four years. So the whole point of this property is to get us onto the ladder. We have a help to buy loan, which means that after five years, we need to start paying it back. If we sell the house before five years, we pay off that loan, we will then have averagely put in 15,000 pounds a year into this house, which is an extra 
60 grand by that point on top of the deposit we would have already put down and any profit we make on the house if it um, if it rises in price so it, it gets you on the market and you can buy something very nice after after that. So when we arrived, the lovely Barrett's team gave us a gift, a Jo Malone candle. And I just wanna show you um, really quickly, they gave us a nice Jo Malone candle just to say thank you for buying with them, which I thought was really nice. It was a really nice kind of welcome. Uh, jo Malone candle, I love Jo Malone. Really nice smell, mimosa and cardamom. There you go. You know I love my candles, guys. Yeah. And finally, when you buy a Barrett's property, when you collect the keys, they'll give you a bag like this um, with a set of keys. The keys for the garage, the keys for the balconies, the keys for the windows, the keys for your main door uh, and the taps, obviously. They give you things like your smart energy monitor, smart energy monitor. We haven't actually set that up yet. Um, a folder with kind of a checklist with everything you have. This is the construction certificate and key handover. So it's, you've signed it and they leave it with you. That's to say you've got it. This pack has all the details of the electronics and the stuff in our house. So here, for instance, I have the cooker manual. I have the, um, the, the hob manual, uh, care and maintenance. This is for the windows and doors. My electrical certificate is in here. Ventilation system, hot water tank info. This stuff I'm going to keep, obviously, and so that's all the details in there. What they do is they email you. They don't give you a hard copy. They email you a list of all the people who worked on the house. So, for instance, if you wanted to buy some new cabinets, you have that emailed to you. If you want to buy the floorboards again, you have that emailed to you. You have a list of all of that kind of info in an email. We printed it off, and we are going to keep it in here. Oh, actually... Another thing, just to point out, Barrett's gave us £65 each on a on an Oyster card, and they gave us £150 gift voucher for Evan Cycles. Another thing about new builds is that everyone moves in at the same time, which is really nice. Everyone's a new neighbour, everyone's in the same position. It's not like you've got established people who've already, and you're the new person, no. Everyone's new, everyone's getting to know the environment. Everyone's in the same boat, you know? That's really nice. Everyone's excited, you know? Thank you for watching, guys. I know I've rambled on a bit, but I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer them straight away if I can. And I'll always answer your questions. And yeah, just, just ask me anything. I'm here to go through this experience with you. I think it's really good to be honest. And I haven't seen anything on Barrett's at all on YouTube. And it's not very sometimes clear of what to expect when you do buy a new build, blind. And when I mean blind, it hasn't been built yet kind of thing. So this is for all the first time um, buyers out there who are considering new builds. So that's my opinion, that's my experience, that's my engineer's experience and I can't wait to bring you on this journey with us. It's so exciting. Um, I'm gonna go now, but I can't wait to see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below, like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching Gino and Lauren's Adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, or subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Bye!